Welcome to week 21 of Beloved Blackness. I'm Dr. B. So the past few weeks we've been talking about culture and I've been using Dr. Wade Noble's schematic for the different layers of culture. So he starts at the top and he talks about manifestations, aspects, and then factors. So we started with the most deep layer of culture when we talked about factors like ontology, cosmology, axiology, and epistemology. So go back to the previous weeks if you want to get caught up with those deeper layers. Now we're talking about the metal layers, the aspects. And so we've talked about ethos, a worldview. And so today we're going to talk about ideology. And what ideology is, is the ideational basis of conduct. And an African-centered ideology or ideational basis of conduct is one of transformation or ascension. So when we think about our ancient um, African ancestors from the Nile, Nile Valley civilization um, in ancient Kemet, they um, focused their lives or were ordered spiritually around the seven principles of Mayat which are truth, justice, order, righteousness, reciprocity, balance, um, uh, harmony. I think I didn't say harmony and justice. So those seven principles out of those came 42 laws. And so the idea was as we lived our lives, we were to grow into those seven principles by actually being able to demonstrate them where, when at the time of death, the mythology was the feather that represented the ma'at would be placed on a scale and then the soul of the person who was deceased would be placed on the other opposing side of the scale with the idea of would it be balanced? Would your life have ascended or transformed to the point of demonstrating those seven principles of truth, justice, order, balance, harmony, reciprocity, and, um, and righteousness? And so from the earliest of ancient times, our people have been grounded in ethical, moral ways of being in relationship with one another, with our communities, as well as within ourselves, okay? So I want you to think over the next week, what are some ways that you could um, reflect intently on an African-centered ideology of transformation or ascension? What, uh, which particular um, principle of my art would you want to focus on over the next week so that you can ground your not just your behavior in that but from the inside so that your behavior comes out of you moving in a more transformed place to be reflective of who um, you're created to be all right until next week